نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome again to the inevitable journey. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the inevitable journey right now took us to the fact that kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha. Every single thing will perish except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We reached the time when Israfil alayhi salam blow in the trumpet and everyone is dead. Every single person is dead and all of them are underneath the ground. And I just want to remind you, brothers and sisters in Islam, that the conditions of the terror that the people will experience in the face of this earth once the first trumpet is here, it is because those people are the worst people as you recall from the previous episodes. But you will find out brothers and sisters in Islam, with the second blow in the trumpet, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for the people to come out of earth to be resurrected again, now is the time when the, distinguish, the distinguishment will take place between those who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who did not, between those who did the work that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them to do once it comes to their lives and those who neglected the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the fact that between the two blows in the trumpet, the first blow and the second blow, there are 40. Now, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not specify whether it is 40 days, 40 years, 40 months, or 40 hours. But Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us through the revelation that comes to him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what will happen and what will take place between the two blows in the trumpet. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us and the hadith fi sahih al-imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim min hadith Abi Huraira radi Allahu an and hadith Abdullah ibn Umar fi sahih Muslim radi Allahu anhuma that all the body of the, the, the children of Adam will be simply decayed. They will become sand and dirt except as a tail, a bone tail that will be in the spinal that is as big as a lentil soup, a lentil seed. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called it ajbu dhanab. And from it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will refashion, will recreate every human being that was underneath the ground, underneath earth. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam actually explained to us the process. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a rain that is similar to the sperm of a man and it will rain in earth and that rain will contact the uh, tail bone that is in the, uh, was in the spinal of the human being and from it everyone will be recreated again and they will actually grow underneath earth and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for them to rise, to be resurrected, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command angel Israfil alayhi salam to, after he gives him the life again, to blow in the trumpet for the second time.
after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the angel to blow for the second time in the trumpet and that will make everyone rise from the ground. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ And there will be a blow in the trumpet and they will come out of the graveyard. يَنْسِلُونَ فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ يَنْسِلُونَ قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا They will say, Woe to us! Those are the disbelievers, brothers and sisters in Islam. Remember, this is why we are sharing the inevitable journey with you. We're not talking about the inevitable journey because we have nothing else better to talk about. No! If you get to learn about all these details, Akhi, sister, brother, you will be prepared. Look, the reaction of the disbelievers once they are commanded to rise from the ground. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَنْسِلُونَ What will they say? قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا وَوْ تُ أَسْ هِلْ تُ أَسْ Who got us up? مَنْ بَعَثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا Who resurrected us? Remember, once they were buried in the graveyard, once we talked about death, and once they saw what to come when the angels will show them their location in the hellfire, their homes in the hellfire, what did they say? They said, Ya Rabb, my Lord, la taqim is sa'ah. Do not make the hour come. You know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not answer their dua. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the hour come. And here they are to rise. Man ba'athana min marqadina. Who resurrected us from our graveyards? The angels will answer them, هَذَا مَا وَعَدَ الرَّحْمَانِ This is what the most merciful, merciful has promised. وَصَدَقَ الْمُرْسَلُونَ And indeed the messengers were truthful once they conveyed the message to you from your Lord. Brothers and sisters in Islam, see the difference? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ سَبَقَتْ لَهُمْ مِنَّ الْحُسْنَى أولئك عنها مبعدون لا يسمعون حسيسها وهم في مشتهت أنفسهم خالدون Indeed those who received from us the goodness in this world that they were guided, they were Muslims, they believed in لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله and they implemented لا إله إلا الله and they were steadfast in those they will not fear. They will, be, they will be taken away from the terror of, of the time. If you recall, once we were talking about death, we mentioned that the most difficult three moments in the life of a human being is the moments of transition. Once he is born, once he leaves the world, and once he resurrects, from, once he comes out of earth. Look at this. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا Indeed, those who said our Lord is Allah, and they were steadfast in implementing this, they actually confirmed the fact that they believe in Allah, and the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with performing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at this, تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Angels will descend upon them. When? Ibn Abbas, radiyallahu anhuma, turjuman al-Qur'an, the one whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua for him, Allahumma allimhu al-ta'wil, O Allah, teach him the interpretation of the Qur'an, teach him the understanding of the Qur'an. He said that they will descend at the time of death, giving him the glad tiding, and they will also descend upon him at the time when he is to rise from the ground, when he needs security, when he needs to be, to be assured security, brothers and sisters in Islam, because of their iman, because of their faith. So here they are, they will be comforted from the minute that they rise from the graveyard. But as for the disbelievers, they will be in a state of terror. They will be terrified by the fact that here they are, Rising from beneath the ground at a time when every single person is also rising from beneath the ground. Brothers and sisters in Islam, from the text we understand that the bodies that will be refashioned underneath the ground for the second time will have different qualities than the bodies that we used to have in this world. 
it would be similar to it. But these bodies will be able, as we will narrate earlier, to handle the heat of the sun, which will be only mile, a mile away from the heads of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This body will actually be able to drown in the sweat, will be soaking in the sweat without actually dying. This body also will be able to see the angels, will, will also be able to speak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So people will be refashioned in a way that they will actually be able to experience other things that has to do with the events of the day of resurrection that we will unfold for you insha'Allah in the inevitable journey also to be able to bear the circumstances of this day the heat of the sun the gathering the, the, the long standing 50,000 years long this day brothers and sisters in Islam this day will be 50,000 years long do you know who is the first person who will be resurrected? the first person that earth will split for him to rise, it is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, hadith sahih al-imam Muslim, hadith Abi Hurairah, radiyallahu an, he said, ana awwalu man tanshaqu anhu al-ardu yawm al-qiyamah, wa ana awwalu shafi'un, wa awwalu shafi'in, wa awwalu mushaffa'a. I am the first of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that earth will split for him to rise from the ground and I am the first one to intercede before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will learn later on how and I will be the first one whose intercession will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, there is a, a hadith in Sahih Muslim, hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu anhuma. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُبْعَثُ كُلُّ عَبْدٍ عَلَى مَا مَا تَعَلَيْهِ Every person will be resurrected doing what they died doing. Wallahi, by Allah, this hadith is scary. Let's talk a little bit about it after a short break. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The scale of justice will be broke before man Now you shall have to explain your whole lifespan Back to the Prophet Join Sheikh Amar in the program Back to the Prophet wherein he teaches us practical lessons from the Prophet's life and how this can help us to overcome our challenges in the present. We talk about the life example of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him, seeking guidance for ourselves. In the early days after the revelation of the Holy Quran, the Muslims were greatly persecuted. So much so that quite a few Muslims had to leave Arabia and migrate to Africa to live among Ahl Kitab, Christian people who follow the Gospel of Christ. The scale of justice will be broke before man. Now you shall have to explain your whole lifespan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the inevitable journey, brothers and sisters in Islam. We talked about the fact that once it comes to the second blow in the trumpet, now the distinguishment between the believers and the disbelievers will take place. The disbelievers.